Hello viewers. Welcome back to Recap Daily. Today we are going to explain a French horror and thriller film name, Some Like It Rare. At the start of the film, we see a butcher shop, while doing their work as per routine, they're attacked by some people called vegans. Vegans are those who don't eat any animal meat or anything made from animal meat. The non-meat eaters have attacked them because they torture animals. Meanwhile, Vincent begins to beat a man from them, the shop of Vincent and his wife is in the worst condition. Because their work is ending gradually. Later, we see their two friends, but their work was going well and they were making a handsome amount from their shop. For this reason, they can't stop praising their work in front of Vincent and his wife, now they were preparing to go home, seeing their friends, Mark and his wife happy, and their luxuries, on the way, they see the non-meat eater boy whom they witnessed yesterday. Vincent drives his car on his body to seek revenge. Vincent believes this boy might have been injured, but he died on the spot. Vincent becomes nervous, for this reason, he tells his wife that we should inform the police. We'll inform the police that he has an accident, we haven't killed him. But his wife doesn't let him do this, she suggests that they should compose this corpse, after coming home, he was about to throw it but while dicing his body, while dicing it, a chunk of meat was thrown next to his dog. The dog eats, and Vincent becomes astonished. Vincent throws a piece of his ear toward his dog, after dicing it, that he eats with fun. After seeing this, Vincent comes up with an idea. That's why he plans to discuss this idea with his wife after approaching her. As it was too late so they go for sleeping. The next day, when he goes to his shop, he notices that the human flesh he's kept after dicing, his wife mistakenly sells that meat to a customer, knowing this, Vincent becomes quite afraid, meanwhile, the customer arrives and tells them, the meat I've taken yesterday was quite tasty, it tasted so well, hearing this, when his wife eats this meat, she feels it is tasty, Vincent tells her, that this is human flesh that you've eaten, and his wife rags after hearing this. In the meantime, a lot of customers show up to buy this delicious meat. And a large crowd comes up to buy it. Even the police couldn't identify this, that he is buying human flesh. In this way, by selling the whole meat once, they've earned a huge amount of money. At night Vincent also eats this flesh. There he learns that this meat is surely delicious and yummy. To enhance this work, his wife suggests killing the non-meat eaters, to prey on them. Vincent considers doing this for a while, the following day, their daughter and a friend visit their home. They discover that their daughter's friend is a non-meat eater, so he doesn't consume any food. Upon not eating anything, Vincent's wife offers him a bear. He tells that he can't take a regular bear rather he takes his own vegan bear. Later, his wife brings cake but he can't eat it because of an egg in it. Later, their daughter was also turning into a non-meat eater. Because of this, Vincent begins to hate non-meat eaters more. They depart on the hunt as a result of listening to his wife's suggestion, they go to the vegan's hotel, they find a non-meat eater man, after coming out of the hotel, Vincent attacks him, and tries to kill him. However, he was unable to do so since he fears killing him. For this reason, they immediately flee from this place. Later, his wife explains to him that we must do this in order to grow our shop. The next day, they retry. After going among the people, they ask them to become non-meat eaters. They were doing this all drama, so if any non-meat eater comes, they prey on him, and it happens, a boy comes there, he praises and invites them. They were not going to let this chance pass them by, but the boy wasn't alone, he has come there with his companions. All the vegans get a butcher shop's key. After changing their appearance, they go there to break that shop. Vincent and his wife were also with them. After entering inside, Vincent and his wife discover that this is their friend Mark's shop. They don't concern about it. After entering with non-meat eaters, they break it, then they ruin that shop. Mark after calling his friends and the police, tells them all about it. The police officer tells Mark that they have a recording of the camera video, so, 
they will quickly find out who caused the shop to be in such a state. As his wife was alone, a waiter arrived and started talking to her in an odd way. When she realizes that the boy is a non-meat eater, she feels inner happiness. Later, as he goes to drop her off at her home, Vincent's wife slices his tongue. After going inside, she tells Vincent that I've brought a non-meat eater with me. So, go and kill him. When Vincent goes there to kill him, he notices, he is waiting for his wife and after begins ragged on him, Vincent, after attacking him with a pot, kills him. After ending him, they separated his corpse, because now they do this regularly. On daily basis, after trapping a non-meat eater, they kill him. While doing this work, they gradually enjoy this. Because of this, they also raise the meat cost. One day, they begin to prey on a non-meat eater who was a player, that the boy learns that they're dangerous and he has a threat from them. The next day, they come to dinner at Mark's house. The meat they were eating was the meat that they brought with them. Mark and his wife were also astonished by the extremely delicious taste of this meat. Now, the matter turns, where Mark and his wife used to praise their work once, now, Vincent and his wife praise their work in front of them. While Mark and his wife were eating this meat, they find a tiny device in this meat. Gradually, the argument between the families increases, and it turns into a massive fight gradually. After removing Mark's ear during the fight, Vincent starts to chew it. Watching this, Mark and his wife become astonished. To avoid being suspected, Vincent doesn't eat but spits that flesh. Vincent and his wife visit a fair one day, where only non-meat eaters have arrived. There, they were looking for good prey. Vincent finds a healthy girl and feels greedy to eat her after seeing her, they later discover their daughter and her friend there. They become astonished to see them there, especially, their daughter's friend, and he asks them what are you doing here. From there, they were not to depart empty-handed. So they hunt a healthy girl, at night, when Vincent was dissecting her body. The police officer informs him that there have been more instances of missing persons in recent days. While this is going on, Vincent's dog gets there by grabbing the girl's diced arm. After seeing it, Vincent becomes terrified. He believes that now his game ends and he will undoubtedly be captured. After using his brain, he escapes from there. Later, after approaching his wife he tells her, that he can't do this anymore, this is making me crazy, look. Today I was lured to eat a young girl. After comprehending him, his wife manages to persuade him. Later, their daughter's friend arrives who arrived to apologize for his statement at the fair. When Vincent's wife started flirting with him, Vincent realized that his wife is plotting to kill him, at the right time, Vincent asks his daughter's friend to go from there. The next day, many customers come to buy the tasty meat, the human meat. Vincent tells them that now we don't have that meat, and from onward now, we will not have that. The customer wants to take that meat and after not getting that, she goes from there. Vincent's wife claims that only because of you, we'll face those terrible days like before. Hearing this, Vincent departs in anger from there. After Vincent's departure, the non-meat eaters arrived in his shop again. They've gone with them to break the meat shop before. They learn that Vincent and his wife also run a meat shop, for this reason, they kidnap his wife. When Vincent returns home, he sees the non-meat eaters van standing outside his house. He understands that something terrible happens there. On the other side, when they were about to kill Vincent's wife, Vincent arrives there and attacks them, with his sharp knife. In this way, they all die in a single attempt. During the fight, Vincent becomes injured and his wife releases herself, she kills the last remaining non-meat eater boy. In this way they save their lives, and they escape but because of killing numerous people. The police arrest them and sentence them to life imprisonment. Actually, Mark has informed the police about them because he suspected them since that day, when Vincent has removed Mark's ear, and the movie ends with this.